Scientists believe that the river channels seen on Titan are created by identical processes of erosion as they are on Earth. The materials are different, the rate at which they occur is different, and you know, this is all going on a billion miles away under very different circumstances, but the, the landscape looks just like what we have here. Back on Titan's surface, Huygens now rests silent. Mankind's furthest outpost in the solar system. But the moon itself is still under scrutiny. For three years, the orbiting mothership Cassini will regularly fly by over the orange moon. Cassini was definitely not just about getting Huygens to Titan. Cassini was about exploring Titan. The orbiter has been unveiling Titan in, in its own very special way. Using remote sensing infrared and radar imaging, Cassini is trying to peer down through Titan's thick haze. Now sending back new images, the orbiter has further revealed that on a massive scale, Titan's surface is being actively transformed by geological processes. As well as erosion from methane rain, scientists have discovered that Titan's surface appears to have been remodeled by lava flows. But this is lava as never seen before. We saw some structures on the surface of Titan that look very curious. They look like, like volcanoes, but these are very different than the kinds of volcanoes that you would expect to see on Earth. Uh, these are what we call cryovolcanoes. Now, what I mean by cryovolcanoes is that they are cold volcanoes. We usually associate volcanoes with explosive eruptions of molten rock. But the cold cryovolcanoes on Titan erupt something altogether very different. A bizarre form of water. The working fluid for a volcano on Titan is water, but it's water mixed with ammonia. And the result of that is it lowers the, the freezing temperature of water from zero degrees C down to as low as minus 100 degrees C. If you could climb up to the summit of a volcano like this and look down in its caldera, you would see a very sticky, viscous fluid that's literally oozing out of the ground and flowing down the flanks of this volcano, much like a very, very fast glacier. The other great mystery for Cassini and Huygens to shed light on was Titan's apparent Earth-like atmosphere. Shrouded in a thick, smog-like haze, it was hoped Titan's unique chemistry would provide clues to understanding the first vital steps on the road to life. The organic chemistry at work in the atmosphere of Titan is very rich. I mean, there is a, a huge deposit of organic matter on the, on the surface of Titan. But the complexity of Titan's chemistry is far from what we see on Earth today. The complexity certainly doesn't rival a protein. That is way, way beyond the complexity we're, we're observing. But that it does form the precursor of things that can form amino acids in that type of compound, which is very important in biological chemistry. On Titan, it appears that the evolution of these chemical precursors has been frozen at a point just before they could make the leap to the chemistry of life. <laughs> 